If you throw gum on the, on the floor, that's what we are. That's how homeless people feel, but we're really not. We're not gum on the floor, we're people, you know? And they make us feel like, get the gum off the floor, you're not that gum. And that's, that's important. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Center at Blessed Sacrament. My name is Frank Buckley. I'm a Jesuit priest, clinical psychologist, and I'm the clinical director here at the Center at Blessed Sacrament. So the number one thing we try to do here is create a place where people feel safe. The heart of it all is the coffee hour from 9 to 10. And you can come, you can have a cup of coffee, you can read the paper, and then once you feel safe, all kind of amazing things can happen. My name is Joey Detilly, and I've been coming here, and it's going on three years. Initially, it was just to come and have a cup of coffee. I heard that they offer coffee hour. It was just good to be able to come to, to a place every morning. It was kind of a consistency in my life where there really isn't a lot of consistency at this point. The more I came, the more I loved it. I'm very hopeful, and that's a word I don't think I've been able to say in a long time. This place has definitely given me hope. You know, this place has given me a feeling of self-worth. I feel like I have a purpose, you know, uh, I'm not lost. There's a guy, Irv Yalom, he's a psychiatrist at Stanford. He said, when you treat a diagnosis, very little is possible. But when you treat the human person, anything becomes possible. And like, that's the model we've kind of used here as a model of wellness. I love when we have mindfulness, you know. It gets my brain off of the situation I'm in. I can walk around here and don't worry about nothing because they make you feel special. Like you're doing something to better yourself. I'm Normandy Keith and I teach Kundalini Yoga and meditation and guided visualization here at the center. I'm being taught here. I'm not teaching here, you know, I, I'm being taught here. I walk in and I'm humble, inspired, I'm enlightened. It's, it's it's just such an honor. I always like to call it bringing the homeless home because I, I that's the yoga, the union, the, the yoke of it, is really giving them a home within their physical being, within their body. So we are all always carrying around our home. So this place has actually turned around my entire attitude about life in general. And I never thought that would happen. I never thought I would ever come to a point where I could look in the mirror and say, I love you. And that's incredible. 